just been finishing off getting myself ready. I've still got my hair clipped back with the best clips in the world. Have these changed anyone else's lives? Because they have definitely changed my life. Absolutely love them. If you don't know what they are, they're like the flat kind of, that one's upside down, <laughs> clippy clips. Um, and basically they're great at kind of like setting your hair in place, getting out your face. I also use them because having shorter hair, if I wear my hair in like a high pony or bun, I get a lot of fallout out of the back. I'll use them to keep my hair up. They have changed the game. They are like 10,000 times better than curvy grips. But that was a very random start to Vlogmas. I was just kind of <laughs> saying what's on my mind. I always feel like whenever I start these vlogs, it's like when you meet up with a friend and I don't know if you guys do this, but whenever I meet up with friends, I feel like conversations just can get so random and then you get sidetracked and then an hour later you're like, oh, we were talking about that, but we didn't finish that conversation. I do that all the time. And I feel like whenever I'm talking to the camera, it's just talking to a friend and so if um vlogmas is start off random if ever i have like random deviated chats then uh, i do apologize but it's because i view you guys as my friends so um yeah but i just wanted to start this morning's vlogmas at my makeup desk which is kind of where i start a lot of videos a lot of vlogs um but i wanted to kind of have a little just quickly have a bit of a chat and kind of like manage expectations with vlogmas because um i have been so excited for december for such a long time because i love christmas i love all the festivities i mean i feel like you guys can tell the fact that i have a two bed flat and i have two christmas trees like you don't have two christmas trees if you don't really enjoy it vlogmas sorry let me put down there um yeah you don't have two christmas trees unless you love christmas unless that's what it's all about um but i basically just wanted to kind of like manage expectations of what to expect and like what's going to be happening over the next month because i feel like even though we are somewhat back to normal in terms of there's no restrictions really there's like um not really any like limitations or anything like that in the uk there is going to still be a lot of days at home because that's just who i am i'm a very home body and i feel like if you've been watching the vlogs for the last year you'll probably have guessed that that i love my home i love being at home i love vlogging from home i love spending days at home that is just like where my happy place is so it's going to be a big old mixture there's going to be some days out there's going to be some days at home there's going to be some days doing both there's going to be some cozy vlogs there's going to be some party vlogs there's gonna be a lot happening i'm looking at my calendar for december and it is booked and busy that's all i'm gonna say we are booked and busy for the entire month of december which i'm not mad about actually normally that would overwhelm me but i feel like because it's like it's full of really really fun things I'm excited about it, really, really excited about it. Um, and if you missed any of my like kind of vlogs leading up to Vlogmas where I like explained what we're gonna be doing throughout the month, basically it's gonna be daily videos Monday to Friday, just cause I do wanna have weekends. I do wanna be able to have like a little bit of a break during December. Um, so Monday to Friday, there will be a video every single day at 5 p.m. if you haven't guessed already from the last three videos um but at 5 p.m so make sure you are subscribed i know a lot of you guys watch these videos that aren't actually subscribed you maybe like come through when i like put it up on instagram or anything but i would just say if you want to keep up with all the videos i know there's gonna be a lot of vlogmases and a lot of people doing vlogmas and a lot of videos going up so if you do want to keep up with them make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you really want to keep up with them hit the notification bell as well because that way you'll never miss a video. I am already really enjoying how much Vlogmas content that is out there. I just love watching festive Vlogmas videos. They bring me so much joy. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly kind of like manage expectations, have a little bit of chat about that whilst we still are in the first week of Vlogmas, while still things are still kind of like new and fresh. And um, yeah, wanted to make sure you guys knew what was gonna be happening. This morning I had a little delivery ride from Amazon that I thought we could open together. I know I mentioned in the first vlog of the video about the wrapping how cute is it they've got a little festive tape on the boxes now but i remember one of the things i ordered i'm not gonna lie i've already forgotten one of the other things i've ordered but one of these things is an absolute game changer when it comes to christmas trees i feel like i was holding this in this really precariously so i do apologize if that kind of freaked you out a little bit okay i just remember one of the things i ordered was a christmas present so i'm not going to show that just because i think they're going to watch but 
maybe I'll show you a little bit closer to Christmas just so that I can kind of make sure and like warn them not to watch it. But the other thing that I picked up, um, which I'm very excited that I finally have because with the decorations have been up for almost a week now and I haven't had these and it has been a right nuisance and that is smart plugs so i will link below to the ones i bought in all honesty i didn't have a preference i kind of just went for like the amazon recommended ones because um we have one smart plug in the flat at the moment and it's so handy we've connected it to our alexa but i do believe you don't have to connect them to like a smart um speaker or anything you can just connect them to your phone but basically if you have trees that our oh, one in the living room isn't too bad but the one in here it's really where the plug is, is like really behind the tree and I literally have to get like a face full of branches every time, which is not ideal, especially if you've got a real tree and like you'll get loads of pines falling off and everything like that. So it's a box of four, which I'm gonna have two here and then I'm gonna give two to my mum for her Christmas trees. Um, but they are so handy because it means that you can control them from your phone. And also the thing that I love most is you can set them on a timer. Um, so you basically set it up so like they can come on at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And it means that the tree's already on when you come like out in the morning and you come into the kitchen in the living room and the tree's already glistening and let's be honest mornings are hard enough as it is because it's so dark but to see the christmas tree i'm getting emotional i just love seeing the christmas tree in the morning and also in the evening it means that it turns off automatically like you don't have to worry about it before you go to bed if you're someone that falls asleep on the sofa a lot you don't have to worry because it's on timer which is amazing it also means if you work like you're back in the office, you can make sure that it's on at four when you step through the door, when you come home, which again, it's just so magical. So you can literally do it for like, in the morning before you go to work, in the evening when you come home from work, and then turning off before you go to bed, which is fab. So I'm gonna set those up um, just to make sure that I don't have to stick my face into the Christmas tree anymore to turn the lights on and off. It means that they'll come on automatically, which makes me very happy. I'm gonna connect them to my phone because the other smart plug is connected to Alex's phone and I hate that I can't control it. So I'm gonna connect those up to my phone. As I said, I'll link them down below. So I'm very happy that I finally got those because they're gonna make such a difference. So apparently I was just talking at, at the camera for about nine minutes. I really cannot keep my videos short, can I? I actually had a couple of people throughout um, Black Friday comment on some videos. I do find with Black Friday, because it's a lot of like hauls um, and a lot of like showing pieces, a lot of people that watch those videos aren't subscribed. So obviously you guys will watch the videos, but I'll get like a lot of new people that maybe it's the first time finding me, they don't know me personally, they've not watched any other vlogs. Um, and I do find I get like a few comments. I had a few during the week being like, you talk way too much. Um, I had a couple where it's like talk more, less talk, more fashion and things like that. And it just, it doesn't bother me anymore. Like it just makes me laugh. Cause I'm like, I am such a rambler. I will never not be able to keep videos short. Like throughout Vlogmas, don't be surprised if most videos reach over half an hour because <laughs> It's just what I'm like. I always talk so much, but I just love chatting with you guys. I love chatting about things that we love, things that like I'm passionate about, things that make me happy. Um, and it did make me giggle when people commented that because I just thought you've seen the length of the video, love. Like it's 35 minutes. That's not gonna change. Don't click on the video if that's too long for you. <laughs> um, so I'm really glad that you guys love long videos because whenever I've apologized or been like, I'll try and keep it shorter, you all comment like, no, no, we like the long videos. So I'm really glad that I feel like I found my people. You like the long videos. I like creating long videos. I like chatting and rambling to you guys. Um, and that's just gonna be the way that it is throughout the entirety of Vlogmas. But today's plan of action, I need to have a bit of a festive declutter because I feel like things are getting a little bit out of hand, especially because of Black Friday. Like things get very overwhelming throughout the weeks. There's obviously so much new in coming in. I'm doing lots of hauls, I'm doing lots of try-ons, I'm showing you guys things. There's loads of ads going on, loads of campaigns, things like that. So my um, <laughs> work wardrobe is just full to the brim and I don't like to get it past this point because then it starts to kind of like overlap onto the shelf and all of my work stuff so I feel like I need to have a bit of a festive declutter this morning and kind of make sure that I've got a bit of a blank slate for vlogmas because even though we have already started vlogmas we are still in kind of like the early stages um and I feel like it's really important just at the start of each month just to kind of like reset declutter get rid of things that you don't need make sure the flat is nice and clean and like tidy nothing is better than a nice tidy home tidy home tidy mind so i am going to get on with some festive decluttering some christmas decluttering and i'll check back in with you in a bit
is very much needed after that i actually did a lot more off camera um than you would have seen i feel like i've had a huge huge just like declutter and tidy i've sorted out lots of like christmas presents um and things like that which makes me really happy there's nothing better than feeling and being organized um so i'm just having my morning coffee now and whilst i was here i just wanted to show you this because i remembered i picked this up and i was like oh my god i'm not showing them yet and this is hilarious so me and alex were in home sense over the weekend and i needed some more of my vanilla syrup um you guys know i always put my jordan skinny coffee syrups in my coffee i ran out of vanilla so i was like oh i need to pick a new one <laughs> look at the size of that look at it next to my head like genuinely i'm actually struggling to hold it it's so so heavy let me get out actually a normal sized one to put next to it so you can see the difference in size i mean <laughs> it's huge absolutely huge but it was the only one that they had in stock so i was like well i'm just gonna have to <laughs> go for that one at least i won't need to top up for a very very long time but i have used this morning my hazelnut noisette and i've also just refilled all the coffee capsules which i feel like is such a satisfying task i love refilling them i feel like you know there's organizational tiktokers i love that when you watch the videos of them just like refilling cupboards and like restacking shelves so satisfying is that really really lame probably <laughs> okay so first time using the setup it makes me very happy indeed i feel like the truth is very yellow in this lighting but i have a bit of an unboxing to do with you guys i've had quite a few Ooh deliveries arrive over the last couple of days from a brand called oat Room, which i have fallen in love with their pieces now i'm actually doing some work with them over on instagram i think it probably would have gone live before the video um because it's a very quick turnaround <laughs> the um like deadline with the content that's fine because these pieces are absolutely gorgeous i'm absolutely loving them so i thought we could unbox them together and i could show you what i picked up basically Otrium are kind of like the, i think the best way to describe them is like a kind of designer outlet but not for full-on designers like for very premium brands for so things like reese french connection um what else there's like a band brand bag brand on there called elmi which i've fallen in love with which you'll see in a minute um and basically just more kind of like very luxurious high-end brands rather than full-on like designer prices and because they are an outlet they have like old stock and they've got maybe last season things which are at a discount which is absolutely amazing so there's some really gorgeous pieces i think it's kind of like it says like vista village but online and for premium brands does that make sense but i wanted to show you what i picked up from them what i have treated myself to um because i've absolutely fallen in love with them and they are very very christmas appropriate okay so first of all we've got a couple of very sparkly items so i'm going to show you the top first because i just think this is absolutely gorgeous now this top is from a brand called marciano um and i've never heard of marciano before but they had some stunning very festive pieces they had a couple of really gorgeous dresses as well now one thing i will say about um Otrim is not all the sizes are in each item so because it is a outlet it's obviously like the sizes that are left um so just have a little look and make sure before you like fall in love with someone just make sure it's in your size but i just thought this was the cutest cutest little sparkly top and i think paired with like a slip skirt or even my tall skirt would look insane i thought that would look really really gorgeous for christmas if you're someone i'm like struggling to show you um if you're someone who you want to go for a bit of sparkle but maybe like dresses on your thing i feel like this and a nice pair of jeans would be perfect or even like a pair of black wide leg trousers i think it looks so gorgeous i love that it's a little bit cropped because it means that you can wear something that's like really flattering and like a bit more cinched in at your waist and it really shows off that way so i thought that was such a gorgeous piece for the festive period I'm officially ready to be invited to all of the festive parties now. How gorgeous is this? I feel like this just makes the most stunning festive top and especially paired with these trousers. As I said, you could wear them with loads of different kind of bottoms. You could wear them with maybe like a little black slip skirt. You could wear it with a satin midi slip skirt. You could wear it with a big floaty skirt. I just think there are so many different ways to wear it. I absolutely adore it. And look how much it just glistens. I love that so, so much. We're focusing on the tree. There we go. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. And the length is perfect. So I just get the tiniest bit of midi drift. And it really does hit me like my most kind of like smallest part of my waist, which is really, really flattering. I absolutely adore it. I love that it's quite a high color as well. So it's very like 
classy there's no skin on show there's nothing like you know too much but it still looks really festive really cute really pretty i absolutely adore this this is so so gorgeous the other item i picked up now this is the all out if you are a little bit extra with what you wear and if you want something a little bit extra for christmas this is the dress for you so it's actually a one shoulder oh i'm sorry the lighting is going really weird but that's a one shoulder mini sequin dress and it is gorgeous it's like got it's like navy blue almost black i can't tell if it's navy blue or black maybe it's black like a black velvet basically covered in sequins which is absolutely insane and it's got the one shoulder detail which i think is so cool the shoulder is padded which i really like you guys know how i feel about my shoulders you know how i feel about padded shoulders so i thought that was such a nice like a design addition and i just think this this is like hey i am here to party i am here to celebrate christmas i am playing any games i want to be festive kind of a dress and i just thought it was absolutely beautiful okay so i wasn't planning on keeping both but oh they are so so stunning look at this dress this is so flattering like look how tiny it makes my waist look i love it i love it when it sits really nicely on your silhouette and it's clearly just like designed for curves and i love the puff shoulder i think that is so so pretty i kind of almost wish it wasn't one shoulder i almost wish it was completely covered because i feel like that's a bit more me i don't know if this is completely me but i do absolutely love it it's a really nice length as well as you can see very cropped very like mini which is really really nice i just love how it sits oh okay i'm gonna need your help guys do i keep the top do i keep the dress or do i keep both <laughs> i'm definitely gonna need your help with this because this is just absolutely beautiful look at those sequins oh that's so so gorgeous i love it to pieces I feel like a magician being like, oh, what's in box number two? What's the um, deal or no deal? <laughs> what's in box number two? So, as I said, there was a handbag brand that I fell in love with on Atrium that is really, really gorgeous. And I was really restrained in Cyber Week. Like, actually really restrained. I think it was mainly because I just didn't have time to shop for myself. Like, obviously, because I was working so hard and doing, like, the hub every day, creating edits for you guys. Like, basically, I was focusing so much on your shopping. I didn't really do get to do much shopping myself. Like I mainly just bought Christmas presents um, and you would have seen from my um, Black Friday haul. I picked up a few things, but not all that much. So because I was so restrained in Cyber Week, I deserve to not be restrained now. <laughs> and when I saw this bag, I just thought it was the most beautiful, beautiful thing. And if you're someone who, again, you're looking for a new handbag, maybe you don't want to spend full on designer prices, you want something really classic. And especially I think with this brand, Elmi, it's very understated like there's no logos there's no obvious branding or design which i think is so nice so this is my new baby isn't she beautiful absolutely beautiful i realized kind of recently that i feel like i want more black handbags in my wardrobe because i wear my chloe to death to absolute death and especially now that it's not available anymore i know it's a bit frustrating for you guys you can't always shop it and i just want to like not feature the exact same handbag in every single outfit but especially this time of year all i do is reach for black handbags so i picked up this little baby and it is the cutest thing ever so it's got kind of like double sided so it's got two little pouches here where you keep everything and it's like magnetic so it's really easy opening and then you've got both sides there which i just think is such a cute little detail now it also has a crossbody strap as well if you did want to wear a crossbody because you guys know my rule when it comes to handbags it needs to have a, a top handle and a crossbody literally every single one of my handbags has a top handle and a crossbody so that was my rule when it came to picking up this bag which I thought was so gorgeous it's like a very smooth leather which is really really lovely because it looks really luxurious and classic the only kind of design detail i don't know if you can see it here on the handle but it's got this kind of like rope like stitching which i think is really really pretty this to me actually looks very fendi inspired but without the like obvious branding without the obvious logos i just think this is absolutely beautiful and such a lovely little handbag like, this is the kind of thing that can take you from into the office to a christmas party to christmas drinks like it's such an understated handbag that's going to go with so so much and i feel like especially if you're going for like a really sparkly really ott outfit like a sequin dress or something like that you need a really understated handbag in order to kind of like complement it make sure it's not too much so i'm really glad that i picked up this little baby i think she's such a gorgeous addition i can't wait to add her to my shelves okay and in the last box this is one of those items that i could not be more excited about let me move this so 
I have been looking for the perfect pair of festive shoes and I actually ended up returning the ones that I picked up from Zara mainly because I'm just not a little heel wearer as in like like little heels like that Do you know what I mean like kind of kitten heels not just kitten heels like basically basically I wear boots I love to wear boots I get very cold feet very very easily um and especially with the issues that have been going on with my knee um if you guys don't have been keeping up to date I'll link a couple of blogs down below for you to kind of update yourself um but especially with what's been going on with my knee I have to be quite careful with my footwear and wear something a little bit more supportive and wear something that isn't going to aggravate it basically so I've been looking for the perfect pair of festive boots to add into my wardrobe and I found them and they're actually from Sophia Webster which is another brand that I truly have and they had some really really gorgeous items on there so I wanted to show you the boots that I picked up because you guys aren't even ready for them that's a bit of an anticlimax when it was completely covered in wrap let me take this off so you can see look at those are they not the most stunning boot you've ever seen? So obviously, embellished Diamante sequin footwear is very in this year. I feel like just OTT outfits. I know I spoke about this when I spoke about my autumn winter trends of this year that I predicted. And that's something I've seriously seen. Just everyone going a little bit more OTT, a little bit more sparkly, a little bit more sequin, and a little bit more Diamantes. And I really, really do love the trend. But as I said, I'm just not able to wear those kind of like totty little heels so this for me is the perfect festive party wear shoe this is absolutely gorgeous if you're someone who you're like me you don't really like wearing little heels but you want something a little bit more festive with a little bit of heel height to give you a little bit of elevation because a lot of us are petite girls around here this is perfect i mean just look at the pearl detail on that and they did actually have them in a few different styles they had flats as well um they were like little ballet shoes that were kind of like had a heel like literally that big so completely flat um they had some like little dainty heels i'll link a few down below for you guys because they are just absolutely gorgeous but i just think this is so so perfect i love how high up it comes on my ankle i find that a very flattering height for both trousers and dresses and i just think these are such a lovely little addition into your wardrobe just a little pop of sparkle a little pop of christmas without being too much and in the kind of style that makes me very happy and is perfect for me right now so so happy to have added these into my wardrobe they're so pretty okay i'm officially christmas party ready look at this outfit the boots are insane a little bag with it just goes so so nice it's like a really nice size bag i know a lot of you comment whenever i get small bags being like i love it but i can never fit everything in that this is small i'll give you that but this will fit everything you need like your phone your keys maybe a lipstick a perfume some hand gel and a mask <laughs> because we still need that these days um and that will just fit everything that you need so i think if you're someone who really wants to get on the small handbag bandwagon but it's struggled in the past this is like a really nice option um and the boots are just so gorgeous like from the front they just look really like oh yeah they're just little you know heel boots and then you're like bam 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 oh i love them so so much so i picked them up in a 37 and a four um i am a three and a half i usually go for a four in flats but i usually go for a three in heels so i was really torn but i'm glad i went for the four because they fit perfectly they are so so elegant i think they're gonna look really nice as well with just like um trousers and stuff they do really really go with the dress i think they are the perfect height because they're gonna go with mini dresses they're gonna go with mini dresses and they'll go with trousers as well i love them so so much so i feel like i'm so ready for the party season now if i could just be invited to all the festive parties that would make me very very happy a little while later now and i'm in a slightly different outfit because on today's agenda is to take some christmas content at home for some campaigns that i'm doing with brands which excites me greatly so i've got the fire back on the tv and the christmas tree looking beautiful it looks really naked when i hold it up against the light like that but i promise you i mean you've seen it it's not and we've got all the lights and stuff and i've put back on my favorite red pjs because what says christmas campaign more than festive red pj so that is my task for this afternoon is to bash through these campaigns make sure to send them over to brands for approvals and things like that but just this setup makes me so happy and it's making me want to get cozy this afternoon but 
work mode first. It is quite a while later now. Shoot is done and dusted. That took quite a long time. One thing I will say is that Christmas is the time where like obviously you'll be seeing a lot more campaigns than you normally do. A lot more like work, a lot more partnerships people are doing. Go and give it a bit of love because they take so, so long. Like it's literally taken me pretty much all afternoon to um, shoot this campaign, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And in true winter fashion, it is now 10 to three and the sun is setting behind me, <laughs> as you can see. And I'm glad that I got it shot before the sun hits the tree because as lovely as it looks in real life, like it looks really magical in real life, it does not show up well on camera. So very happy to have got that done. But what I wanted to do now is have a little bit of a sort out of my shelves because basically I wanna make room for my new babies. And I know I said in my first video of Vlogmas that I wanted to add a bit more like sparkle. So obviously we've got the River Diamante bag on there. I always feel like a weather woman when I do this. Um, the River Diamante bag on there. Um, and then I'm wanting to add on my new shoes because they're just so pretty. Look at the pearl detail on that. I mean, that's just magical. Um, and then add on my new bags. So I just absolutely love it. It's so, so cute. So I wanna add those onto the shelves um, and make a bit of space for them and kind of make the shelves a little bit more wintry. Like I feel like they've been really autumnal up until now. And it's now time to winterify and Christmasify the shelves. festive shelves i mean we've only had some small changes so it's not the biggest thing but i've got my new little elmy bag there so cute and i've put the heels down in the corner here which just look so so lovely i love the fact that the glitter not glitter the diamantes glisten and reflect off of the lights in the tree i just think that looks so so lovely there so just a little rejig of the shelves i really really like how they've turned out so i feel like it is officially time to end the vlog here because knowing me it's gotten long enough and we are rapidly losing light now it is getting dark so so early so i'm gonna sign off this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed having a bit of a declutter a bit of an unbox with me if you got to the end of this video leave me the diamond emoji down below i'm not gonna do it in every vlogmas but I feel like it's really fun in a lot of vlogmases just to know who gets to the end of each video because there's going to be a lot of videos, there's going to be a lot of content, there's going to be... A... I'm going to try and not make my videos too long. As I was saying at the start, like, managing expectations. Obviously, I know that you guys like a long video, but there are just so many vlogmas videos out there to catch up on. I don't... Obviously, you don't just want to sit and watch mine for the evening. Like, I'm sure you've got so many other content creators that you want to watch. So, I'm going to try not to let my vlogs get too long, she says famous last words but we shall see um but leave me the diamond emoji if you got to the end of this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed for all of the vlogmas content that is coming and i will see you i hope you have a lovely weekend and i'll see you on monday bye